Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my retinol skincare routine to achieve a super smooth and glowy glass skin. I'm going to review my two favorite Korean retinol products. This video is not sponsored. I really like them so much that I just wanted to share them with you. I've been getting like so many good results. You can see my skin now. I do have makeup on, but on the skin I only have concealer under my eyes and then on the little areas that have spots. But generally, for example, in my forehead, pretty much there's nothing on. And you can see how super smooth and glowy it looks. So I'm so happy with the results that I wanted to share these products. I had to because they are so good and they are relatively cheap to be retinol. So yes. So the products I'm going to talk about today are a serum, <laughs> are a serum and an eye cream. They are both by the Korean brand Some by Me, and they are both um, low dosage retinol products that are great for beginners or for those who have sensitive skin. Starting with the serum, this has a very smooth texture, it's super lightweight and it's easy to spread around the skin, blend, and I can say it absorbs fairly quickly into the skin. It's not sticky at all and it has a smell but it's very hard to describe, it's the same scent of the eye cream. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could not know how to explain this. It's kind of like a soap smell. It's not floral. It's not like it does not feel like an added fragrance, but it smells like the ingredients. So it's kind of like a soapy smell, but I actually really, really like it. It's very faint. It's nothing overpowering. I enjoy the smell of this product. It's very unique to these two products, though. But anyway, I just use one drop so for each area, so one drop on each cheek and then one drop on the forehead, very small drop in here. It's very important that you don't use a lot of product because retinol usually dries out your skin a lot. So actually that was my concern before starting retinol. And by the way, these two are the first retinol products I've ever tried. And I do have very, very dry skin. So I was concerned about that and if you read the instructions also they say to use a very small amount so pretty much three drops of the serum are enough for your whole face and same goes with the eye cream this has pretty much the same exact texture the same yellowy color that is typical of retinols also smooth lightweight same scent so it's pretty much the same thing it's just a little bit more thicker in consistency, like, I mean, even though it's very lightweight, it's thicker than the serum, obviously, because it is a cream, so you only need a very small amount, like one little, um, I dot it underneath my eyes, I just put one little dot underneath each eye, and that's enough. I used to put it also on my smile lines, like the eye cream, because I have some uh, fine lines around the mouth, but that dried me out so much like i had patches of skin around here that was like peeling off and at first it's normal for your skin to peel off when you start using retinol in fact it did for me but i felt like it was too much and it was not going away it also was a little bit red so i stopped using this on the smile lines because anyway i use the serum right i'm using only the serum now there and the eye cream only on the eye area and it has helped a lot because now i don't have any peeling like zero peeling because my skin is now used to it but i want to give some advice for those who are beginners as i was with retinol or that have a sensitive skin and what i recommend doing are two main things so one do not use your retinol every single day that is way too much for your skin when you start using it just use it once a week or twice a week pretty spaced in time and in between use a serum and cream that are a good to replenish and repair your barrier your skin barrier. For example, I used this serum by Manyo. It's the Bifida Biome Complex Ampoule. This was so good to use together with the retinol serum. Like I alternated. So one day I would use the retinol serum and then 
two days or three days I would use this and then again the retinol and it's still what I'm doing up to this day like now that I'm used to it I use it two or three times a week but on the days that I don't I use a serum that repairs my skin barrier and the second super important tip that I want to give you is what is called the sandwich method in skincare which is actually a very simple concept when you use retinols, if you have very dry skin, if you have sensitive skin, you don't want to put it right on your skin because that might be too harsh for you. So you want to sandwich the retinol with other moisturizing products. So for example, what I do personally is after washing my face, removing my makeup, cleansing, I use a milky toner that is good to moisturize my skin and it's the base for all of these steps and then I go in with a moisturizing like oil based face mist after I can apply my retinol over it so it's not like directly on the skin but it has something else before so pretty much those are your base bun then you put the retinol which is your burger and then you go in again with a moisturizer on top of it as the top bun of your sandwich to really lock in everything and replenish the skin with more moisture. So that is how you sandwich your retinol and if you have a very sensitive skin or even drier than me before the retinol you can put a moisturizing serum or a very thin moisturizing cream underneath then the retinol and then a thicker moisturizing cream. So that is pretty much it. I've been using these two products, the serum and eye cream for months and months now and I did see a lot of great results in terms of smoothness of the skin like literally when I touch my skin it feels so 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 smooth like it has never before and also as you can see it's super 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 glowy very um, radiant I love it so much and although honestly I did not really see much of a change in terms of wrinkles on my eyes I did see an improvement on my smile lines because I used to have the beginning of a wrinkle like a very small uh, in this part especially it was more pronounced and now even though you can still see a line it's not as deep as it used to be so yes I want to just put it out there no change pretty much on the eyes but yes I did see a change in here yeah I'm really happy with the results and as I said at the beginning of the video these are very good products for beginners so if you are looking for some retinal products to try out because you want to get into it if you are in your mid to late 20s then I would recommend these um, they are really good and they are also affordable so I cannot recommend them enough and if you are using these already, have used them in the past or want to try them, please let me know in the comments down below how you found them, if you like them or not and why. I would really be curious to know. And also let's help each other out to find good products that can help enhance our skin. So this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Korean skincare videos and vlogs from Korea. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!